it's all coming through very clearly. Tabitha, you know, I know this is all in good fun, but maybe we ought to stop. Let it go, Theresa. All right, Tabitha can't tell if, if Ethan's chosen Gwen or you just by looking at some tea leaves. But how do you know, Miguel? I mean, even Mama believed Tabitha before when she predicted that Louise and Ethan and Chief Bennett would come home safely from their rescue mission. Teresa, that's different. This is just getting your hopes up for no good reason. Mama, my hopes are already sky high. I believe that Ethan is going to choose me instead of Gwen. You see me at my wedding to Ethan, don't you, Tabitha? But I'm scared. Oh, that's weird. Is Kay talking to herself? Wait till Charity finds out it's Hecuba the Witch. Princess was right. She knew something freaky was going on in this house. Balls in your court, sweetheart. Your cousin Charity's right outside. I don't know what to do. There's only one thing to do. If you want Miguel, don't let anyone, especially her, know what's going on. Kay, it's me. Who are you talking to? You rat on me to Blondie. And you will never get this back. My soul. My soul! Unless, of course, you do exactly as I tell you. Kay, what's going on in there? Please, honey. Please don't do me. Please. She's coming through. Thank God. They take me away from me. Sweetheart, don't speak. Just try to get your breath. And then I want to hear why they kidnapped you in the first place. Sheridan! We have to get to Sheridan! Hank, what are you talking about? Sheridan is alive. She's still alive. Look, Hank, you got nailed in the head pretty hard, but I don't think you're thinking straight. No, it's true. It's true, but there's no time to explain now. We have to get back to Harmony before it's too late. Sam, let's get this boat started. Hey, what's going on? Eve keeps saying things about Sheridan. Well, Hank says she's still alive. Let's get this boat moving, Nick. Listen to him, please, Sam. We have to hurry. It doesn't make any sense. Please, Sam, you have to trust me. All right, if you say so. Hank, what are you talking about? Sheridan is dead. No, she's not. She's alive. Well, then, Hank, where is she? Who do we bury at the funeral? Sheridan. We buried Sheridan at the funeral. We buried her alive. They're trying to get to me. We waited as long as we could, Sheridan. I'm afraid you're going to have to come with me. I understand. Wait. I don't want to go. I want to be with Louise. moment for Timmy if he wasn't afraid Hecuba would hurt his beloved charity. Look, I'm coming in, Kay. Stole her! 
Um, Charity, can you hold on just a second? I'm, I'm not decent. What do I do? The stakes have just risen. I cannot be in the same room with your cousin. She is pure goodness, whereas I am pure... Well, I am her total opposite, and let's just leave it at that. It's time for me to make tracks. Why did I ever complain about my old boring life? Okay. Just a second, Charity. You know, maybe I should tell Charity about Hecuba, because if she has enough power to scare a real live witch, then maybe she can help me get my soul back. Bad idea, Kay. Where are you? Turn me in and you'll be one sorry, spoiled brat. You'll lose Miguel and your soul for keeps. Well, how do you know she doesn't already know? She had to have heard us talking from the hallway. She can't hear me. She can only hear you. So you better watch that, Kay. Or else Charity might have you committed. Oh, but that would be such a dreadful thing for one cousin to do to another, wouldn't it? But you were a piece of work when you had a soul. I can just imagine what you'll be like if you never get it back. And just for the record, Charity can't help you retrieve it. I am the one you sold it to. <laughs> and why should I trust you? Because you don't have any other choice. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just tell Charity. Tell me what, Kay? Can you see them? Yes, I, yes, I can. I can actually make out their expressions. What does that mean? It means they care so deeply for you being pulled back. <laughs> you mean I don't have to die now? I'm not sure. Perhaps if they can get here in time. Hank, how could Sheridan be buried alive? I saw her dead. Look, if this is some kind of practical joke, I swear I'll rip your it's head off. It's not a joke, okay? Sam, call the Harbor Master. Tell him to call the cemetery and get some people down there to start working on digging up Sheridan's grave. They're trying to get to me, Mother. I want to wait. You can't reach it, Hank. Chip the shores out. None of this makes any sense. Look, look, I demand a full explanation. Look, not now. Sam, you gotta go faster. Finally got his cuffs off. We gotta get to Sheridan before it's too late. Are you out of your mind? We never planned to have underground all this time. You know about this too? You see what you're doing? You're giving them false hope. She never would have survived down there all this time. You know that. No. Please, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Save me. at my wedding to Ethan, Tabitha. Well, it couldn't be anything else. What do the tea leaves say? Oh, well, if you really want to know, Tabitha, dear... I'm sorry, but we are not interested in what you may or may not see in the bottom of Teresa's teacup. Oh, Mama, I am. Well, that's unfortunate, Teresa, because I'm not going to sit by and let you pin your hopes on some silly hocus-pocus magic game. But it is not a game, is it, Tabitha? Oh, well, my readings do tend to hold up. <laughs> And Teresa's tea uh, leaves are quite telling. so, Tabitha, um, Mother would rather you stopped. Oh, well, if you're absolutely adamant, pity. Mama, I only want to know what Tabitha sees. And what if she sees you at the wedding with Ethan? And then Ethan comes back from the emergency and tells you he's going to marry Gwen. How will you feel then, Teresa? I don't need to answer that. You would be crushed. I know that you only want to protect me, but it will be okay. 
I believe that Ethan is going to choose me, so no matter what Tabitha says, my heart will not be broken. Goodness. I have an idea, Teresa. Why don't we read your mother's tea leaves instead? Uh, Tabitha, I don't mean to be rude, but I, uh, I don't believe in such things. Oh, don't be such a fuddy-duddy peeler. It's just a bit of fun. Let her, Mama. I mean, maybe it'll take your mind off Louise and the others. Uh, uh, Tabitha, really, uh, I'd rather not. Well, it's your decision, of course. But I think you might be interested to hear that a certain man is coming back into your life after a very long absence. A man you've missed terribly and never stopped loving. <laughs> this is nonsense. Don't say that, Mama. Maybe it's Papa. Or Antonio. It's got to be one of them. Wouldn't it be wonderful? They're on their way. They're coming to save me. I know they're trying. Why do you say it like that, Mother? If Luis and Ethan get to my grave in time, I'll live. Nothing. Nothing's been settled yet. It isn't certain whether you come into the light with me or go back to them on Earth. No, you're wrong. Sheridan's still alive, and we've got to get her out in time. Hank, that is impossible. She did not have enough oxygen to last this long. She's alive, damn it. She has to be. Look, if you don't tell me what's going on, I should... What are you talking about? Why couldn't Sheridan survive? It would be a miracle if she was still alive. There was only enough oxygen in her cough in the last a few hours. What did you guys do to her? Why the hell did you bury her alive? <sighs> okay, look. You know how persistent Sheridan's hitting anymore. They wouldn't back off. You told me they'd called off. I the lied. The case was anything but closed. And the plan was my idea. Damn you! Look, if Sheridan's dead because of this plan, so help me, you're gonna wish you were dead. Look, when we presented the plan to Sheridan, she agreed. She agreed? She was terrified of enclosed spaces. Yeah, I told her it wasn't supposed to go this far. And even if it did, she'd only be down there for a couple hours. But, but what about her gunshot wounds? I saw the blood. I took her pulse. She didn't she have it. She was any. not hit with real bullets. We faked all the blood and we masked her pulse. But Eve, Eve did an autopsy. She pronounced her dead. It was all staged. The idea was to lull Roger and Pierre into a sense of security so they'd get careless and we could finally put them under arrest. For God's sakes, why didn't you tell me? Hank, how could you put me through all this? Look, you had no right to do this without my permission. Okay, look, in hindsight, I should have involved the two of you, okay? But we wanted your reactions to Sheridan's death to look authentic. We knew Roger and Pierre would be watching you guys closely, and we didn't think that we could risk it. We never thought it would go this far. We never thought we'd actually have the barrier. The plan was, was to call you guys as soon as we had Roger and Pierre in custody. And then, I don't know, something happened. They, they got wind of the plan. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Everything's gonna be okay now. We're gonna get to her in time, and, and hey, everything's gonna be fine. God. God, please let there be a miracle. Please, just hurry, Luis. Hurry. Sam, hurry up! We gotta get to Sheridan! I tried to get through to you from the boat, but the ship to shore was out. Listen, I need you to call the police station, Tom, and need back up the cemetery fast. The cemetery? What, whatever you say, Chief. Sir, what's your keys? Hurry, Luis, please hurry. Tell him to send a couple more men down there. I have a couple of guys tied up on the boat. We need to uh, brought in for conspiracy to commit murder. And call my wife. Tell her I'm okay. See, you got your car here? Yeah. We're coming with you, though. There's someone in your life who's been gone a very long time. Someone who's missed you as much as you've missed him. Please. Not another word. I put my faith in my religion, not on fortune tellers or tea leaves or tarot cards. Tabitha didn't mean any harm. I'm sure she didn't. Still, I'm inclined to agree with Pilar. I mean, these things can be dangerous, especially when they give people false hope. Oh, I'm sorry. I think 
think I'd better go home. Oh, don't have a thought. Oh, please, don't be silly. Please stay. It's just that uh, I was just trying to take everyone's mind off Sam and Louise and TC. Uh, and I've just made matters worse. Now, it's no wonder I'm never invited anywhere. I'm just a stupid old bat. <laughs> Sam and Louise. Hello? Yes, this is she. It's a harbor master. <laughs> you sure? They're all right. <laughs> and what about Sam's brother Hank and the Russells? Thank God. And Ethan? And Ethan Crane? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for calling. They're all all right. <laughs> I'm going to go up and tell Kay and Charity. Ethan's all right, and he's going to choose me. What do you want to tell me, Kay? You better not tell her, Kay. Hickip is meaner than a junkyard dog. I heard that, you little pipsqueak. And you can tell Tabitha for me I hate her just as much as I did 300 years ago. Ah. Oh, no! Hickip is so chimney! Great news, your mom just got a call from the harbor master. Everyone's all right. Oh, that's so great. Did you hear that? Everybody's fine. Your dad, your uncle, they're fine. No thanks to you. You weren't even able to pray for them. Because I've got your soul. And I'm going to keep it if you blab about me to charity. I'm really sorry. Hank, just don't say anything, all right? Just gotta get to share it. You're really not making this easy. Mm -hmm. It's too bad. <laughs> if I gotta suffer, so do you. I can't stand that I gotta be away from you for all night. Especially this. We'll just make tomorrow night our first one together. Yeah, if I don't die from missing you by then. Don't, don't even tease about that. I want you to come home from Washington safe and safe. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll walk the whole way if I have to. You would, wouldn't you? You can bet on it. But do you have any idea how I feel about you? I think I do. I feel the same way. I know we'll only be apart one day. Yeah, it's gonna be the longest 24 hours of my life. <sighs> By this time tomorrow, we'll, we'll both be here together just like this. Well, I hope not completely like this. Yeah, well, there's not gonna be an FBI man in the car, and Hank's not gonna be in the living room, and mm -hmm. you and I'll be in another room, hopefully not making coffee. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just when I thought your kisses couldn't get any sweeter. Remember that kiss when we were apart, Luis? Remember how I feel about you? I couldn't forget even if I wanted to. I don't. Easy, man. You're gonna get us killed. Hey, leave him alone. He's doing fine. Dr. Russell. Them too. I don't have all the details, but Kay's dad said that everyone's fine. Uh, Kay, something's still bothering you. What is it? I'll be okay. Are you sure? Your mom's worried that you don't have any Christmas spirit this year. That's not the only thing you're missing these days, is it, Kay? Watch this! Big deal. They can do that at carnivals. Oh? And can they do this at carnivals? What are you doing? Demonstrating my not-so-powerful talent. Come 
to me. Come to me. Give me her soul. What did you do to me? Doing exactly what I said I'd do. I took your soul. It's right here. In this little bottle. No. Take a good look at it, because this is as close as you're going to get. Give it bow! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine to do with as I see fit! Better not blow the whistle on me. Um, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Do you want us to go? Um, I need to talk to both of you. Uh oh. I'd be more than happy to help you with the dishes, Grace. Oh, Tabitha, it's all under control, but thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I respect your wishes. No more tea leaf readings. <laughs> well, do you see something in my cup? <laughs> well, that's probably just the overactive imagination of a daft old woman. <laughs> well, you can read it. Well, it's silly, really, but the tea leaves in your cup say the very same thing as the tea leaves in Pilar's cup. There's a man coming to your house, too, Grace. Man who's been away a very long time. It must be Noah. I mean, he must be coming home from school after all. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> well, you're not cross with me then for playing my little game. Oh, not at all, Tabitha. And besides, you were right about Sam and Louise and the others not being hurt during the rescue mission. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just a lucky guess. <laughs> Night, Grace. Good night. <laughs> I wonder how long it will take for our little Miss Teresa to run out here and stop me. One, two, three, oh, no. Hi. four. I'm so glad that I caught you. <laughs> and what can I do for you, dear? I wonder what Teresa's talking to her about. Tabitha, it's about my tea leaves. For some reason, I really believe you can see the future. Well, then? Was I at my own wedding? Did you see me marrying Ethan? I told you. You were in church, and you were crying. But was it a wedding? I mean, could you see what I was wearing? Yes, I could. You were wearing a veil. A veil? Oh, then it was my wedding. I know it. Ethan's going to choose me. Oh, Tabitha, thank you so much. I've got to find Ethan so he can tell me the good news. Bye-bye. Thank you. People wear veils at funerals, too, Teresa. Oh, I don't envy you this holiday season. Oh, no. Not at all. Teresa! What are you doing here? Actually, I came to see if anyone had gotten word on Ethan. Ethan is fine. Everyone who went on the rescue mission is fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to run. Run? I'm surprised you're not taking your broomstick now that you've resorted to reading tea leaves to determine your future. Forget it, Teresa. No matter how many tricks you may have up your sleeve, you're never marrying Ethan. It's mine. He leaves, Teresa. <laughs> Talk about desperate measures. What? I'm not desperate. All Tabitha did was just confirm what I already knew. Ethan is going to choose me as the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with. Now, if you'll excuse me. Did he call you and tell you to meet him somewhere? Or are you just going to track him down like the bloodhound you are? Ethan didn't need to call yeah, I me. thought not. Although I'm quite sure he would have called me if I were carrying my phone. <laughs> Forget about it, Teresa. 
Ethan's always turned to me in times of need. And nothing's ever going to change that. He's choosing me. What could be taking Timmy so long? Could I have been right? Is there some sort of evil presence in the Bennett house? Oh, I'd know the sulfur smell anywhere. She can't make up her mind. Timmy hopes he doesn't get caught in the crossfire when she does. You're not gonna believe this. Not so fast, Kay. Unless this is what you want to see. Not a pretty sight, is it, Kay? Don't push me! Because I can make that little scenario become a reality. Now, maybe you won't mind being Charity's maid of honor, standing behind her while Miguel pledges to love her for eternity. But then again, who can blame the boy? Why would he want to marry a girl without a soul? <laughs> Timmy never thought he could feel sorry for Kay. Until he met Hecuba. You're not making any sense, Kay. What's going on with you? Good question. Um, I guess I'm just not myself today. Ignore me. But you said there was something you wanted to tell us, right? Right. I just wanted to reassure you that I'm really okay. Um, but do you guys mind if I just lie down for a while? No, of course we don't. If that's really what you want. Yes, I do. Okay, but if you change your mind and you want to talk, you know where to find us. Yeah. yeah. Together. Timmy. Timmy. Oh, Timmy. This is no time to play hide and seek. Come on, Dad, show yourself. Can I have my soul back now? Things first. It's past time to put out the trash. The trash? Tell Tabitha, I said hi. Getting angry. And you know what happens when I get angry. No more Timmy's for you tonight. Oh. You clumsy clot. Oh. You better have a very good explanation where you've been. Ow, ow, ow. <sighs> Timmy's been scouting out the Bennett house just like Princess told him to. She was right. There's definitely evil in that house. Which is mean evil. Oh, wow. Sheridan, hang on. Just please hang on. We'll get to it. I don't got much time. Come on. Come on. Keep digging. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Grab a shovel! Look, Mother, they're on their way. They're, they're gonna get to me in time. What was that? I'm sorry, darling. It's time to go. No. No, it can't be. Not when they're so close. Not when I'm about to see Luis. There's nothing I can do. Come with me, darling. There's nothing to be afraid of.
have time to stand here and debate with you, Gwen. I'm going to find Ethan. I know you think Ethan is going to marry you, but he's not. Nothing you can do or say will keep me from becoming Ethan's wife. I admire your confidence, Gwen. <sighs> People like you have always amazed me with their sense of entitlement. That anything they want is theirs for the taking. It's all about the haves and the have-nots, Teresa. Even the haves don't always get what they want, Gwen. And the next time you see Ethan, he's going to tell you that he wants to marry me. I'm going to be Mrs. Ethan Crane. I wish you'd been there just now when I was reading the tea leaves. I tried to warn Pilar, Grace and Teresa that they were in for problems galore, but... You know, these mortals, they look at the sunny side of everything. Simps that they are. That's not the evil Timmy was talking about. <sighs> Tell the one believe who Timmy saw in Kay's room. Well, try me. Me saw Hecuba. It, you must be mistaken. It's probably just Kay in a bright wig. No, Timmy's telling the truth. She was up there, and she's working with Kay. You better be making this up, Timmy. No, Timmy's telling the truth. Before Hecuba threw Timmy out the window, she told him to say hi to Tabitha. This is very bad news. I don't believe Kay's all right. Do you? No. No, I don't. When I was standing out here, I heard her talking to herself. And then when I went in there, she seemed really shaken up. And she didn't give you any clue about what? No, nothing. I really got the sense of longing from her. Like she was missing something. I wish we could do something to help her. Yeah, well, so do I, but I don't see how if she's not going to open up to us. You're as worried about her as I am, aren't you? I almost got the feeling that she was in some kind of danger. I already got you a strand of Charity's hair. Now, what else do you want from me? Oh, now, don't pout. Your mouth could permanently freeze in that expression. Besides, we're going to have so much fun together, you and I. But I don't want to have fun with you. I just want my soul back. And you want Miguel, too, unless you've changed your mind about him. No, I want Miguel, too. Well, then cheer up, because no boy wants to hook up with a sullen Susie like you. And we've got so much to look forward to, like the pain and destruction of all of the good people of Harmony. And I am going to achieve that with your help. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? So Tabitha must have meant that Noah was coming back. All I know is I wish she hadn't read Teresa's tea leaves. It did what I feared. It just raised Teresa's hopes about Ethan. Well, you know I'm no fan of predicting the future. I mean, even... If you don't believe in it, it can still affect your subconscious. Make you look at things differently. I don't believe any man is coming back into my life. No. No, me neither. I'm going to get the glasses from the living room. Okay. Tabitha must have been talking about Noah. I mean, who else could she meet? There is a man coming, but it's not who you think. You have to be prepared to face the challenges that can destroy your life and the lives of people you love.
This is nuts. We're too late. Am I going to find Look, Don't say it. If you don't want to help, that's fine. Just don't say it. What the hell's that? What? What is it? Whatever it is, it's rock solid. Get back. Go back. Oh my God. Somebody sealed the grave over with cement. Great, now we'll never get her out in time. Shannon! 